Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a visual artist teaching artist. Um, so today we're going to explore um, making some papel picado art. So papel picado is a traditional Mexican art form. Um, it's a very um, uh, creative, explosively colorful paper art experience. So we use a lot of papel picado to make um, uh, flowers or um, decorations around um, different holidays or uh, cultural significant days like Dia de los Muertos. So papel picado, the literal translation is like shredded paper because we shred a lot or like we crumbled and shred a lot in this art form, um, the tissue paper. Uh, so um, so you're gonna, so we're gonna do two different styles of flowers. So um, in the in the creative world, um, we we visualize a lot, um, either plant or animal life. And so in Bonnie, we analyze um, what makes a plant a plant or a flower a flower. So the basic thing of a flower is going to be the stem and the petals and the base. So this is what we're going to be working with today. Um, and so we're going to be creating um, uh, a stem. So. So you can, uh, for the stem, um, you can grab one of the tissues papers and just kind of cut it rectangly, like a rectangle. Uh, or um, you could also grab like a bark, piece of bark or one of these, um, I keep forgetting the, um, so this, uh, this, you can grab one of these. Um, so these work. Um, and so, um, if you do it with the tissue paper, the way you create a stem is you're going to fold it in half. So see, um, and then you're going to keep folding it until, so one more time. And then until you have kind of like a, a very stringy long Paper. So this is going to be the stem of your flower. So you can see here this one. So um, there's different ways we're going to be working with the stem, but in this um, in this creative project, um, uh, if you can have it all flattened out, uh, okay. And then you're going to grab the petals, the colors that you want your petals to look like. So here I got a variation of colors. So I got some pink, some red, some yellows, oranges, uh, cause I want my flower to be very, um, very kind of like um, sunset-y, kind of like a sunset type of energy. So, um, so you're gonna grab your papers and also cut them out in squares like this. Um, and then um, you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna fold this in half. So the squares cut them in half. So you have the, in the middle, you're gonna have a line that you're gonna cut through. So now you have all these really long papers and so um, you're going to cut the edges um, in a curved manner. So you're going to make sure they're curved. And so you're cutting the, the angle so that you can have like kind of like a, like a curved petal um to your um to your flowers so so you have your petals here so you see the curve and they don't have to be uh necessarily symmetrical because you'll see when we crumble it it doesn't it's not really gonna be uh, very defined um so um so then you're gonna grab your stem you're gonna put it over um and then you're gonna um, you're going to grab the middle part and kind of squish it. 
kind of like a bow tie. So yeah, so and then you have this, um, and then you're gonna fold it over and tie it. So you're tying your stem to your petals. And I like to hide this little part, just kind of inside the, the inside there so that you don't see it when you start. Okay, so, so see um, how I kind of did the knot. And so then you're gonna squish it some more so that it's super tight. And then you're gonna grab your petals, put them up, and then slowly And then you're going to start slowly spreading them out. So you could do individually or like a group of them at the same time. So this is, it takes a little bit to spread them out because there are um, so many layers. So take your time. Once you have it mostly spread out, you can start molding the, um, the petals with a pencil. So, um, so usually like I'll grab the end of the petal and then uh, put, the pen put the, roll it up, roll up the petal with your pencil and then slowly take it out and then you can start seeing kind of like the different and then um so you'll do this with all like the petals throughout um so that's like another way of getting like a kind of like a petal texture another way is you just you can literally just like crumble start crumbling it So this will take usually like about five to 10 minutes. It, it takes a little bit of time to get like the, um, kind of like the structure of your flower together. And then, yeah. And don't be afraid to like crumble the bottom, the top to get kind of like the shape of the flower. Okay, so take your time crumbling it around. So I pre-made one because um, it does take a little bit. So I crumpled it, the bottom, and then what I did was I kind of tightened it up at the bottom so I could have kind of like a, um, like a, this type of shape of flower, more like a lily type. So you can explore um, with your petals. You can do them outward if you're like, so just, just, experiment the shape of your flower. This is the fun part, the experimentation, because um, the rest is just like the basics of your flower creation, the, the base, the petals, and then the shape of it, that will be up to you how you want it to look like. And that's the, your creative freedom as like an, an artistic being, how at the end, like you, you're given these tools and then you decide your end product. So with any art, paper art, um, it's gonna be you, the final person, that's gonna be like, this is how I want it to look like. So don't be afraid to experiment. If you don't like certain colors, you can just 
slowly take it apart and redo it. Um, that's the beautiful thing about the fact that you're just working with paper um, is that you can easily take it apart and put it back together. Um, so this is like a method. Um, this is one way of doing flowers. Um, then there's like another method that's kind of like, um, like a rose type of shape. Um, so I'm gonna make one of those. So, um, so if you have paper left over, you can use this to make confetti. So you can cut it up in tiny little pieces and save it up and make confetti with it. So I always encourage um, people to, be, to recycle and to be mindful of the tools that we use because where does paper come from? It comes from trees. And so we, we need to be as like creative people and artists mindful that these tools and resources also come from like either plants or other uh, materials. So, um, so this will make like a fun confetti that you can use for like a birthday party. Or you can even put the confetti inside a balloon and blow it up and you can see like the different patterns. So, um, so ask your parents if there's any balloons after left and you can put it in there. And then when you pop it, you will see all the confetti in your uh, space. So, um, um, so switching back to the flowers that we're making. So, um, so the roast shaped flower, um, so you're gonna grab a paper in a square, like another square. So I like working with flowers like with square uh, shape because it, it gives me like a wide space of paper to work with. Um, so if you cut it, even if you cut it, cut it smaller, your flower is gonna be shaped smaller, but um, it's up to you also the length and width of your paper because um, that's going to determine the size of like the shape of your petals and your flowers. Um, so, um, so with this uh, rose type of flower, you're going to um, similar like um, fold it in half, but instead of cutting it, we're going to keep it like this. So you can do um, a variation of color. So you're going to stack them on top of each other. So that's like the different from this technique than the other technique is um, we're not cutting it. So you're going to fold in. So I'll do maybe like three colors for this one. And so you're going to grab the one of the corners and then you're going to do like a small inserted fold like this. So see, and then make sure you always press tightly and then you're going to do it one more time and then this is the fun part so then you're going to grab the this part the bottom and then you're going to start crumbling it so see how the shape is kind of like a rose petal at the top So this, this process, you're, you're gonna constantly be folding your petals. So it's a little bit different because it's like, um, you're gonna make sure that when you're um, crumbling that you don't crumble the top. So you wanna keep the, um, the top kinda open and then the bottom crumbled. And then you're gonna grab another paper similar folded in half and then you're gonna continue where you left off the last paper and then go around crumbling at the bottom so see how I'm going around crumbling at the bottom and then bring out your petals And you want to keep it really tight so that it doesn't come loose easily. So super tighten it up. So see my row shape. So this is the, the petal, the petals of my flower. And then if I want to add like a different, like a yellow in there, um, or like a different color, I just cut out one of these papers and then I can cut it out in half because I want to make it just a small little red. So just like a square, like a small square paper. 
And then this one, similar, you're going to crumble the edge and then or fold it in half. Fold it a little bit, insert it, and then start crumbling it. And see how with my fingers, I'm just super tightening it the bottom so that it doesn't come loose easily and then I can slowly put it in here okay. and then um, you can either use one of these and then just kind of put it in, insert it, and then crumbled it around. That's like another, and glue it with hot glue or regular glue. And then you have your base, and then you can cover it with green. Or um, another way um, is with uh, paper stems, like we did with this one. Um, we're gonna do something similar with this one. So this style is a little bit different. So instead of being just like a, just flatten it, you're just gonna fold it and then fold it one more time. But instead of folding it super like small, you're gonna leave it like, maybe like a half a like width of your finger. So that's like maybe like an inch. You're gonna leave it like that. And then um, you're gonna open it up and then put your flower inside like this. Um, and then you're gonna tie it up at the top. Super, super tight. And then you're just gonna tighten it around. The top keeps falling off, so I gotta, I'm just gonna make a small one again and then put it back in there. then fix the petals and if you notice it's having a hard time sticking you can always glue it it's like um, it's totally fine like if this one like if it keeps coming out I can always like glue it in there and make sure that it stays put but while I'm crumbling that's when I don't glue it because then it's gonna be really difficult to get all the papers to um, to fold into like petal into petals so but once you have your structure and your petals all folded then you can glue in place either like the certain parts of the stem or the inside of it. So um, yeah, so then we have these two formats of flower making. And then um, if you're like, why don't they have any leaves? I want leaves because flowers have leaves because they need leaves to eat. So um, you can just grab um, either the same tissue paper, like grab a, um, like a, like a, just like a green tissue paper, or you can just grab like a um, just regular paper that's uh, green, um, and then um, you're gonna just cut out the shape of the petals. So I'll do this one just with like regular paper, and then I'll do one with um, uh, with tissue paper. So you, so I always think of like the shape of um, like a leaf, like kind of like a shape of an eye. When I'm cutting it out, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe it's like an eye. So, so that's like when I cut it out, like, um, so you have your leaves and then you can just glue them with a glue. Um, so I usually use glue sticks with this. Um, it, it's, it does a really good hold with this paper. So, but if, um, uh, yeah, so you don't need to like put any hot glue or anything else, just regular glue works fine. And then you have your flower art. And then you can just decorate um, your space with it. So, so this is like an art form um, that um, is very significant, 
significant culturally for a lot of like Mexican descent communities. Um, and so I actually been doing these paper arts for most of my life with my family and my aunts for like celebration. So it's like quinceañeras or Dia de los Muertos or any sort of family gathering. Um, you always found me as a little kid with my aunt helping her make all the decorations. So it's a very, um, it's a very communal, very like collective process um, making these flowers. So you can always like make flowers with your siblings, with your parents, with your cousins, your aunts. Um, like, uh, if you don't have tissue paper, you can always grab a newspaper and make flowers with that. Just grab like acrylic paint or even like um, dip them in like watercolor paint. Um, and then you, you will get like uh, color texture on your, um, on your flowers. And, and, um, and newspaper flowers are also like incredibly beautiful. Like if you want to experiment like um, with uh, different types of papers. So, you can use like um, tissue paper from like um, like if if somebody gave you a gift and they has tissue paper, you can use that tissue paper. Or if you're like um, like uh, if there's a box that comes in with tissue paper, um, you can always use that. And also like encourage your parents if there's like tissue paper that comes with any materials you buy to save it so that you can make crafts with it. So um, yeah, so. I hope you had fun making flowers and learning about basic plant bonding. Um, so learning about like the structure of a flower through a creative process. And um, I hope you continue making lots of art with paper or recyclable materials around your house.